So I have my pattern pieces cut out. This is my skirt, my collar, my elastic buttons, the placket piece here. Over here is my back bodice piece, my main and my lining, my front bodice piece, main and lining, my sleeves. My, the reason why I have elastic because I'm going to do the uh, elastic, uh, the elastic sleeve version. I also wanted to put lace on my on my collar pieces here. So if you want to see how I did that, just click the link up above and you can see how I did that. Okay, so let's get started. All right, let's start by constructing our collar pieces. So what we're going to do is I'm going to place my main and my lining collar pieces right sides together. This fabric is just pretty much the same on the front and back, so it really doesn't matter, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to sew a 1 4th inch seam allowance along the curved edges of our collar pieces. So let's pin. Okay. So this will be different for me because I use, um, I, I added lace to my collar, okay? So it will be the same kind of, but if you want to know how, if you want to see how I added lace to my collar piece, you can just click that link up top, okay? Let's grab our front bodice. We're gonna fold our main bodice, fold our main bodice in half so we can find the center of our bodice piece here. So this right here would be the center. If you have a fabric marker, you can use that. Okay, so I have found the center of my, of my neckline. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my collar pieces and I'm going to overlap them in the center by a half inch. Okay. Just like that. I am going to pin my collar piece. All right, so I'm going to do a one fourth inch basting stitch along my neckline here. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have based my collar piece, my collar pieces on the front of my bodice. So now grab your grab your back back bodice pieces and you're gonna put those right sides together. And pin. All right, so I'm going to take this to the machine and do a half inch seam allowance on the main and bodice piece. And I will also iron my seams open. Then I'll be back. All right, I have attached my shoulder seams on both my main and my lining of my bodice, right? And I've also pressed my seams open here, okay, on both of them. Now, Right sides together, I will place my lining on top of my bodice, on top of my right sides together. Okay, just like that. And matching my shoulder seams here, my pin, matching my shoulder seams. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pin along the back, around the neck, and along the other side of the back here. And then I'll take this to my machine and do a half inch seam allowance. And then I will just trim, I will clip my corners here and trim off my excess. All right, 
right, let's go and sew this together. Okay, so I have um, already sewn and pressed. Okay, so I found the center piece of my skirt, um, the back of my skirt, and what I did, I just drew, I just had, I drew, I, I drew, I'm sorry, I drew a line uh, two and a half inches down from the back here of my um, back skirt piece here. So what you're gonna do next, grab your scissors. So just grab your scissors here, turn this towards me, and you will cut along this marking that you made. I'm gonna stop. And then you're going to do like a W shape on each side here. Just like that, okay? Okay, now we're gonna locate our placket fabric here. And with the right, with the right side of my placket um, facing the wrong side of my skirt, I'm going to align. So this is gonna be the right side of my skirt here. And this will be the back. So this is gonna be the wrong side. All right, so we're just going to, I guess I'm just going to center it here. So we'll know where the center is. And we're going to just pin our placket piece. All right, so head over to your machine and just do a 1 fourth inch seam allowance to attach your placket to your back to the back of your skirt here. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have attached my placket to the back of my skirt. I'm just going to follow my follow the tutorial um, that they have given me and I'm going to just fold my placket down a half inch and then I'll fold it again and I will press it on top of that raw end here, okay? And so, so you can just clip off any excess of the placket here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to turn the left part of my placket to the wrong side of, the, of my, my skirt piece. And then I just do a, just a little stitch here to keep it there and then and I'll be back. Okay, so the our back skirt piece is done. Grab your front piece skirt. And what we're going to do is is we're going to we're going to just measure an inch away from the arm here. Okay? So just measure an inch away from it. We will not be sewing this, okay? We will not do a gather stitch gathering stitch um where that where this um, one inch is. So here and just there, just like this. So now you just take this to the machine and just do your gathering stitches of your um, front skirt piece. Okay, so pre for preparing for my skirt piece to be added onto my bodice, I went ahead and pressed a half inch seam allowance towards the wrong side on my lining bodice. But this is the, the front bodice front part of my bodice and then also the back here okay on both sides of the back so then I can um, prepare so then my skirt will be enclosed it won't have any raw ends um, opened on it okay I, mean, I have gathered my front my front skirt piece here so grab your main bodice with the right sides up what we're going to do is, is we're going to attach our bodice here I mean attach our skirt okay all right, so here's my main bodice here. And I have my front skirt piece already gathered. With right sides together, I am going to place my skirt on top of my bodice here. Right, so you remember the, the two inch um, that we left open here. We're going to attach just to the right side of the bodice, bodice only, I mean, main bodice only. And we're going to pin. Okay, and we're going just to pin our bodice. On. Okay, so I 
I have attached my skirt. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to flip this right side out. Just like that. All right, so what I'm going to do is next is I'm just going to take my lining piece that I did the, I had I have fold that's a half inch and I'm just going to place it on top of my bodice here. And I'm going to pin. I'm going to pin and just do a top stitch. Okay, so I have my I have my skirt attached to my front of my bodice. Now, grab your back piece, your back skirt. We're gonna do the same thing, okay? All right, so measure over your one inch on both sides of your back skirt. Just like that. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to take this to your machine and do a gathering stitch, two gathering stitches on both sides, okay? And we're going to gather them together and we'll put them on our back piece of our um, bodice. Now, okay, so I have gathered the back of my, my skirt piece. Grab the front piece of your bodice here and we're going to right sides together, place, pin our um, right sides together and we're just going to pin our skirt piece on. Okay, so now let's head over to the machine and just do your half inch seam allowance. Also be um, repeating the same step I did for the front. Okay, so I have attached the back of my, the back of my skirt piece to my bodice and top stitch it. It's so cute. Okay, so now we're going to flip our bodice. We're gonna um, get our dress and we're gonna put it right sides together. Just like that, okay? And I'm going to match up my side seams here and I'm going to pin along both my side seams and then I will just finish it with a, uh, I will serge it. Or you can finish it with a zigzag stitch. So let's pin our side seams. All right, let's go sew our side seams. All right, so grab both your sleeve pieces here. And I've already went ahead and uh, prepared the hem for my for my um, sleeve. So what I did was I fold uh, one fourth inch, pressed, and then fold another and fold a half inch. This is gonna be on the wrong, to the wrong side of my fabric. Um, this is gonna be my elastic casing. So what I'll do is just now, let's start on our sleeve piece here. All right, so find the center of your sleeve piece. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to make two gathering, two gathering stitches along the curve up here, curved edge of our sleeve. I fold my sleeves in half and I sewn along this raw edge here. All right, so grab your sleeves and turn your bodice wrong side out. We're gonna attach our sleeves. Okay. Grab your sleeve pieces and turn those right side out. Okay. All right, just like that. Grab one of your sleeves and you're going to put it inside, right side together um, of your, of your uh, skirt. Okay. So I'm going to match my seams here. Okay, and I'm going to pin. So as you can see here, I have this, my opening here. All right, so I'm going to find that, that center, that um, fold piece, that fold that I had here 
on my of my sleeve and I'm going to match it with the fold with the shoulder seam here just like that so I can make sure it's it's right all right so look just like that now I'm just going to pull my gathering stitches so it can fit my armhole here and pin. All right, and I'll just repeat the same step here for my other arm hole. I went ahead and hemmed the bottom of my, my um, dress and I surged my sleeves and stuff and just looking all cute now our last part is, is that we're going to get our elastic okay so grab your elastic and a safety pin and we're just going to feed our elastic through to for we, so we can have like a little you know little gathering on the ends of our on the ends of our sleeves and then i'm just going to i'm going to just close this opening and we are done Okay, so we are almost done. Last step is I'm going to just add, uh, add a snap on the back of my bodice here. And then, oh wow, look how cute this is, y'all. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, check this out. So this is the Nottingham pattern here. Super cute. I love, I also added lace on this one too. You know, I thought it was real good and cute. I love it so much. You can also get this pattern on Little Layers of King website. Super cute. Um, I will link that down below. One, like this is like my next go-to pattern now. Not because it's, I already got it cut out. I like that. Like I love having my pattern cut out, so then I can just be like, you know, you, 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 you get what I'm saying. So this is so cute. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click that notification bell. And y'all have a great so day. Love you. See ya.